All right, sure. So what's up with the gold teeth? I, I see that uh, big tray every time I come in here. And uh, are people actually selling you their teeth that yes, are made Martin. of gold? <laughs> it, surprisingly enough, there's actually a lot of gold teeth out there. Um, and we buy a fair amount of gold teeth. Now, I found that people are hesitant to bring in the gold teeth or bridges uh, sometimes for whatever reason. So by having a few pieces on display, it reminds our customers that sometimes old teeth are gold fillings and they have value. And what we have in here is several different types of gold teeth. Uh, to go over and I'll show you how we test to see if they're gold or not also. Now you can see these molars, I left the root in there because it's so disgusting, but on this set, just to show how big your tooth root is. Now, as we can tell from the color of these, there's a little different hue also uh, from the color, and that's gonna be of a varying carat. My dentist told me that the traditional dental gold, which is 16 carat, uh, wears at the same rate as tooth enamel, and that was one of the main reasons they used gold as fillings for many years, which makes quite a lot of sense. So the gold filling will wear at the same rate as a gold tooth. Makes perfect sense. Different carats though. So one of the ways that we use to test uh, the teeth to see if they're gold or not is this XRF x-ray machine and I'm just going to do a demonstration for you how it works. If you look inside there's a little sensor right there. This is a great piece of equipment. So that sensor right there we put the piece on top of it. There's actually a little camera in there and, and you can see that it's doing a good part of the tooth, the gold right there. That's actually where the x-ray, where the, the red circle is where it's going to take the x-ray up. It's going to do 10 x-rays in a short period of time and come back with uh, the carrot. So, so what's the, why do you need this when you already have the um, sigmalytics that we went over in the last video, which you can watch here, where Asher shows us how to de detect fake gold coins, but do you use this to test gold coins or is this more for... And we sometimes will use this to, to also verify coins, uh, purity, and, and so forth. The, the machines are really different. The uh, XRF, what it does is it gives us an analysis of what the composition of the metal is. This tells us that, that the gold part of the tooth that's in there, 47% gold, 38% uh, silver, copper, and palladium. So the carat on this comes back as 11 carat, which okay. is a little bit low for dental gold typically. It's kind of cool. It gives you the actual elements yes. like um, from the periodic table. Correct. First which we'll for me, way. that's very useless. But for you, a man who I know has memorized the entire periodic table, you know exactly Absolutely. what's in that tooth right now. <laughs> <laughs> the, the two different machines though, the Sigma Metalytics coin verifier basically verifies that the metal matches what the resistivity is supposed to be. If it does not, if the item in a Sigma Metalytics verifier does not match what the settings are, it will not tell us what it is, okay? Okay. So the Sigma Metalytics verifier verifies that it matches what it's supposed to be. This, uh, what this does is it tells us what it is. Okay. Two different, you know, the same end goal verifying oh, what's real I or see. not. Oh, I see. Yeah, but the Sigma, you got to kind of give it a head start. Yes, you have you to. You can't just detect elements. You've got to say, I think this is gold. You have to tell gold. the Sigma what it's supposed to be. Is it okay. silver, gold, what the purity is, and okay. whatnot. So maybe sometimes on a really weird esoteric uh, alloy coin, we may XRF it first to figure out the right metal composition and then use the Sigma Metalytics verifier to ensure that it's not a plated piece. Okay. The only downside of the XRF is it doesn't go very deep. Okay. So if something is heavily plated, heavily coated, it can fool the XRF machine. Okay. So, so really this is more for testing like jewelry and and tea. Jewelry and, and, and different items that we want to do an analysis of what the metals are that we don't know what, what, what they are. Gotcha. And what, we use it a lot for jewelry. We, we buy a lot of jewelry and what this does is it, is it gives us what the carrot actually is. So this is sort of interesting. Came back as a lot of carrot, which most dental is 16 carrot. When we look at the color of these, the color really tells us a lot too. You can see how the higher carrot is much more goldy, much more buttery per right. se. Right. And it starts to get a little bit washed out on the lower carrot. Now, I will say this. Most of the teeth that we get do not have the roots in them still. Gotcha. Usually yeah. The roots are gone. It's, <laughs> yeah, it's pretty that, abnormal that, to have. I did find that a little a, a little odd there on some of them. Like, that's... A um, big old root is, is unusual. And I like the Minnesota root, like the uh, the Florida root. <laughs> so now these, this almost looks like it... Ha I guess this isn't... This doesn't have gold roots. This was just a cap. 
So these yeah. are all that's that's kind of the and they don't make these anymore. Like now you get a crown, it's like some sort of composite material. Yeah. I'm sure there's some dentists out there that do uh, still do gold upon request. Well, next time I need a crown, I'm definitely going to ask for gold. So yeah, good luck with that. Yeah, <laughs> I'll be coming in. We'll melt down a Britannia, like uh, Doug said, for jewelry. So let's XRF your ring and see what carry you Yeah, have. I would love to. So this is my signet ring. Bought this from an estate jeweler several years ago. I, I feel like they told me it was 14. I remember I paid like four or five hundred bucks for it, but um, yeah, definitely. Let's let's okay. put this one to the test. Visual inspection shows a ten carat hallmark on there. Uh, gotcha. And it might have been ten. I I honestly forget. I just remember it was not like a high carat weight. So put it in there. So this does come back as ten carat, so it tests out just fine. It's very possible it could have came back slightly under. However, uh, test is ten carat. Absolutely no issues. Visually, everything looks good on it. Gotcha. And what would you say? I think I paid. I think I paid like somewhere between four and five hundred bucks for that. In this had to be like probably eight or nine years ago. Um, would you say that thing's at least worth four or five hundred bucks today? Hey, if you like it, it's worth all the money in the world, and that's what matters. That's fair. So the answer there is I got ripped off uh, nine or 10 years ago. <laughs> I'm not answering at all. Okay. Well, that's fair. <laughs> as that's long fair. as you like it, that's the most gotcha. important thing. I, I had a period of my life, I feel like every man does. I had a statement ring period. Some of my favorite statement rings I got were $29 from JTB. It's all fake. And I get so many compliments on them. You would you would think that they, they're, you know, $10,000 piece of jewelry. So... I don't yeah. know. As long as you like it, that's yeah. what matters. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for showing us the. Now, this is not the. I, I keep wanting to say Sigmalytics for the Olympus. The Olympus. Uh, this is the Olympus Gold Expert, is what the model of the machine is. Gotcha. Gotcha. Gold Expert. Specifically designed for countertop use at jewelry stores, coin, coin dealers, and so forth. So the item can be x rayed in front of the customer and not release their site. Nice. That's awesome. What do you think, Max? I don't think Max cares. <laughs> now, before we finish up, should I grab the pliers and we'll see if you have any more gold teeth? <laughs> yeah, let me get some whiskey. We'll, uh, we'll get to work on that one. I'd like to add one more thing real quick. Yeah. I'd, I'd like to remind all of your viewers that one of the best coin shows in the country is going to be coming up in Orlando uh, this winter. The Winter Fun Show. I suggest that everyone Google it, look it up. And if you're in the Florida area, definitely stop by the Winter Fun Show in Orlando. Awesome. And I'll put the link in the description to, to the Winter Fun Show. Yeah, I was up there. This year, I'm, I'm going to record. So I think that's going to be a really cool show to go to. Um, definitely, it's good to keep it on people's radar. Yeah, absolutely. Awesome. Thanks, Asher. Have a good day. You too.